So now, as promised, I want to go to the Democratic Congressman Lloyd Doggett, a member of the Ways and Means Committee, uh, which, of course, as I mentioned, has been trying to get Trump's tax return since 2019. So, Congressman, here you are. The day has come. Victory from a Supreme Court with Trump's judges on it, coming saying, you know what, hand those tax returns over to your committee. Let's start with the most basic question. When do you expect to get the documents? I'm hoping we will get them by next week. Uh, this is an important victory for accountability, and it's true the the efforts have gone on for three years on the lawsuit. I actually made the first motion to get these tax returns on February 3rd, 2017. So we're coming up on almost five years that we've wow. been trying to get this. And, uh, you know, Republicans in the House aided and abetted him in every way. The statute's explicit. It says, shall turn these over to the Ways and Means Committee. He never had the law on his side, but he had plenty of Republicans who would block and obstruct and refuse to take action. And then a Trump-appointed judge sat on the lawsuit for two and a half years. And so now we are right up against the final deadline. We know the same House Republicans that blocked access to his returns when we could have gotten them a long, long time ago have already begun putting out statements uh, that make it clear if we don't get action before the January 3rd deadline, we will never be able to hold uh, him to any level of accountability and fulfill our legislative responsibilities to see whether the IRS is conducting its audit duties appropriately. So let's be clear here, right? On January 3rd, they get control of your committee in the House and they end it. That That's clear. So you've got just about six weeks. You're you're saying now you don't expect to get them till after Thanksgiving, right? Then you've got members on holiday and, and the holidays, the Christmas, New Year's. Do Are you going to be able to do what you need to do here, Congressman, or is this sort of a Pyrrhic victory where you win, but you can't actually execute? The time is of the essence. Uh, I think we need to be ready to work holidays, weekends, whatever it takes to get this job done. There is a lot at stake here, and we cannot default at the last minute. Uh, I know we will be acting on advice of counsel, the same counsel that won this decision today and has won, in fact, no judge has ever ruled for Trump's side on this issue. So it's clear, the law is clear, our responsibility is clear, mm. and Republican obstruction and willingness to continue to obstruct is clear. So we need to move quickly, and I hope we begin that review next week. Uh, just to be clear about it, uh, this does not mean that the records immediately become public. Uh, they're subject to privacy protection. Uh, in fact, it's a felony to leak or disclose these returns until our committee acts. And our so if your committee is the... unable to do what you need to do, and I know it's, I'm saying do what you need to do because that's obviously an amorphous yeah. term, but you've got to figure that out when you look at them. But if you aren't able to get everything done by January 3rd, right, and each one of his returns is going to be this, this thick. Um, I, I'm, I'm holding my, my hands up the size of the TV. So then, and the public isn't going to get to see them because of secrecy, the GOP takes over what happens. No one ever sees them, well, nothing there, happens, they're gone? There, there certainly is the alternative of making these documents public, and the time pressure here okay. uh, creates an added reason to consider doing that. Uh, I'm not ready without having reviewed any of it uh, to say that we need to act immediately on making them public, but there is a way that uh, we can afford those tax returns to the House, and the House can act uh, on this, and uh, it would have the effect of making it public, and then they could be reviewed with more care. Uh, right. That's something that yeah. the Republicans have got to consider if they continue to obstruct here. All right. Well, it is crucial to know that you would have that option. And again, uh, even though that may be against his wishes, it would be consistent with the past 45 years of precedent with presidential candidates releasing those returns. All right, Congressman, I appreciate your time. Thank you very much. Thank you. I want to go straight.